again, just take this opportunity, you know, use it to your best, and you know, let's make this thing even better as we move forward. All right. So thank you. Guys. Thank you. The idea behind this is really, you know, I thought to myself and asked the student athletes, what, what is the toughest part of the day? And, you know, in regards to nutrition, which meal do you actually take care of the most? And which meal do you need to help the most? And, uh, you know, I learned that most of them kind of neglect their breakfast. And so I decided, you know, it would probably be the best to kind of give them what they're lacking and hoping that, you know, they're able to walk into the building. Whether they're going to practice or classroom, you know, they could stop by the filming station, have access to nutrition, you know, hopefully they'll allow, to them, allow them to uh, take on their day and, you know, filled up ready to go. You know, I think this is uh, integral to ensuring that our athletes are obviously properly nourished. Um, what we had before was unacceptable. I think this is a small step in getting, you know, athletics to understand we value their presence on campus and we value their health and well-being. Yuki's kind of vision of what he wanted in here as well as some of the student athletes' perspective of what they wanted to see um, really just kind of pieced it all together. Actually, the, the piece on the, the fridge directly behind me, those are all words that the student athletes came up with, each team. Um, so one of those words represents each program. So it's really their input and just our kind of design to put it together. Uh, I think they did a really good job with renovating this place. I feel like very happy when I walk in and it's a really good opportunity to meet other athletes than just my teammates to have a better connection with other teams and yeah it also helped me to be ready for practice and to yeah don't walk around hungry. <laughs> so I think it's going to help us attract um, even even more competitive athletes who want to come to be in Brooklyn and be at St. Francis College. I also think it will allow students who are non-athletes to interact with the athletes more. You know, it just makes it a more um, environment that allows people to integrate more. So I think this fueling station in terms of promoting St. Francis and, and companies to come in and see what we're doing and how we're making life better for athletes is really going to resonate throughout Brooklyn. We're, we're ahead of everybody else, but we've been ahead even with um, when we have Jared Spencer come in uh, with the mental health. So I like to think that we're always going to be in the forefront of different, different ideas and just run with it and see where it takes us. I think the kids see that we're committed, the president's committed, the athletic department's committed, and so in turn they'll do more for us. And all I ask is that they do well in school, that they compete at, at a level that is Division I, and that they socially can get out there and do some great things. And at the end of the day, it's about being a great citizen. When they leave here, they're doing more for what when they got here. Our athletic department is very diverse, and people are coming from all over the world, not only the United States. And we are really proud of that. And um, due to that, a lot of students, you know, coming from overseas, are uh, ex you know experiencing a little bit of a um, um, how would I say. Um, you know, just basically adjusting, adjusting process where um, they would have troubles, um, you know, accomplishing everything throughout the day. So many times they would leave out breakfast from their, you know, regular routine, daily routine, and, and that's something that was really uh, great to be noticed by our athletic trainers, uh, you know, head trainers in the in gym, and, and I think that's what's, what's, you know, separated us this year from all the past years because we started notifying these things and we started reacting upon them and making our uh, student athletes experience in this college much, much better. I think it's a brilliant idea. Uh, I think the strength and conditioning team have done a great job with everything here. I mean, I've been here for three years now and we've not seen anything like this. And a lot of times we're going to sleep in and miss breakfast and then we have to go train and we can't eat. And so I think this is a brilliant idea for all the athletes to come together uh, and get some good food. It's like all healthy stuff. Again, nutrition is really important, especially as an athlete. And especially after you have things like weightlifting and practice, you have something to refuel your body for the rest of the day. Because we're students, but we're also athletes. So just a long day, a long day. And so it's good to have a place where you can go to eat. The early games, uh, practices, tough preseasons. Uh, nutrition builds your body up. Uh, we work pretty hard. Uh, we have tough practices. We have tough training with Yuki. So I think having this, you know, before those, you know, events, I feel like this just makes us even better, makes us even stronger. 
you know, for us to perform well. This is a grand opening and to me it's just a start. You know, I want to give the ownership to our student athletes to kind of take care of this place and, you know, communicate with them to see what they want and how they want to improve it. And, you know, when we request for what they want in the future and if they're taking care of this place correctly and it's something that we could afford to provide, you know, we want to try to provide other options. You know, I think they could get kind of sick of eating the same thing over and over. So, you know, maybe we'll go out and get some oatmeal or some other choice, you know, of whatever they desire. And hopefully we could accommodate that in the future.